Good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning. Just doing uh, a video for Kin Week. Uh, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Nicholas Anthony. I am a instructor for the Faculty of Health Sciences. I uh, specifically teach uh, intro and movement neuroscience as, as well as uh, human motor control and learning. I just wanted to say that, uh, or to thank the Kin Council for putting this together for the students. I think it's a great idea. Um, considering the current um, circumstances with the pandemic, but I think it's a great way to um, allow uh, the students and the instructors to sort of interact. Um, and I, I thank you for uh, putting this together. So this is my, my intro video. Um, I'll talk about which courses I teach. Uh, I chose kinesiology as a career. Um, originally, I actually wanted to be a vet, uh, and then I sort of like changed my mind as, uh, as I... Um, sort of continued on. Uh, I found that uh, kinesiology um, best mirrored sort of um, the interests of, that I had that I, where I wanted to go. I knew that like, like probably a lot of you, I wanted to continue on with sort of a professional degree and I wanted to be able to um, treat patients and, and, and work with athletes, uh, potentially even go to med school or surgery or exercise science, something sort of in that field. And I found that based on my interests, kinesiology, um, best mirrored sort of um, what I was passionate about or what I liked or was interested in at the time. Um, my favorite sport or activity? Uh, okay, so uh, my favorite sport to play would probably be hockey. I grew up playing hockey. Um, favorite sport to watch would be uh, the basketball. I'm a huge Raptors fan. Uh, made it out to Jurassic Park in a couple of games during the championship run. Um, it was epic. Um, so grateful about that, that, I got to see that. Uh, oh, uh, I'm also a competitive runner, um, so I run a lot, uh, I train, and I compete um, in 10Ks um, and half marathons. Uh, so that would be another thing that I'm uh, excited or passionate about. Uh, cool or uh, fun fact, cool experience that I can share. Uh, I'm actually a practicing chiropractor, so I don't know if a lot of you uh, students know that. Um, I, I teach neuroscience classes, but I also uh, am working in the clinical lot. I have a rehabilitation clinic. I practice at the uh, Campus Health Center on campus. Um, I treat musculoskeletal injuries. Um, so I do like sort of bringing the clinical aspect um, or bridging the clinical aspect and sort of the academic knowledge um, together. Um, I like to use those experiences to help um, students, but that's uh, sort of what I'm really passionate about is sort of that interaction with patients. Uh, tips for maintaining a healthy lifestyle? Uh, I think just prioritize it. I think that um, remaining active is important for health, mental health, and um, sort of uh, like meeting people. Um, I think that uh, the biggest tip that I, I maintain a healthy lifestyle, but I, I think the, the biggest thing, considering how busy our lives are, is um, organization. I think that if you can organize yourself to um, set aside a certain amount of time um, every week or every month, to do something uh, like sort of active, that um, you can fill that time slot with other types of activities. You don't always have to do the same thing. I think it's important to try different things and then you can find out what you love. Um, and if you love what you do, then um, you enjoy doing it. Uh, my best exam or study prep tip. Uh, I guess sort of based on the whole organization thing, I think that um, uh, my best advice would be uh, trying to organize the units when um, learning the courses. I find that a lot of the courses are content heavy, and so it's sort of the feedback that I get from students is that um, it's sort of overwhelming to try and memorize everything. I think that um, in terms of trying to study, I think it's best to try and um, organize the information into units, like chunk the information into smaller bits, and really try to challenge yourself on understanding the material. Um, so don't just try to memorize um, the slides, but try to ask yourself questions. Try to um, challenge yourself in fully understanding the material and being able to apply the material. Um, that's why I use clinical examples uh, in my courses because I find that it helps the students really sort of ask the why and then um, be able to sort of um, utilize that knowledge and helps them retain that information. Um, 
So the big thing, I guess, just to review would be um, organizing information um, into groups just so that way it's not sort of overwhelmingly like daunting um, in terms of the amount of information. Condense it into little bits and understand how everything sort of um, sort of fits together. Uh, and then utilizing that, try to challenge yourself when you're studying. Um, this was part one of the video. Uh, part two I will do uh, uh, later on when I'm at work and I will talk to you guys then.